Uh, as we're watching this, we're now joined by Ambrosio Hernandez. She's with Telemundo 51, who's been monitoring all the various uh, broadcast reports. She joins us from Miami. Uh, Ambrosio, are you there? What are you picking up about the situation now? very closely here in South Florida. As you know, uh, there are, there's a Mexican community here and a large Hispanic American community here in South Florida. All we know at this time is that the passengers have been freed, but apparently the crew remains uh, aboard and that uh, President, uh, the Mexican president uh, is planning to, uh, to show up there at the airport. That's, that's all we know at this time. Is there any reporting, are you getting any broadcast reports that you're monitoring that this is now over? I mean, now that we see, I mean, at least three men in handcuffs surrounded by security forces, we saw the tape of the passengers uh, being let off the aircraft. Um, any indication, any reporting from Mexico City that, that, that this is now essentially done, that the mission has been completed, that it's a success? No. On the other hand, the reports uh, we are getting right now from uh, Mexican uh, television is that the... Uh, the passengers are freed and that the crew apparently still uh, is still on board uh, nothing about the situation being over with uh, at this moment and, and again uh, they are expecting uh, the president uh, probably to show up there at the airport something that has uh, called our attention obviously that uh, the Mexican president himself would show up at the airport but that's what uh, Mexican uh, uh, the Mexican press is actually reporting at this moment but not that is over. Uh, by no means is, is, is this over uh, right now. All right, Ambrosio Hernandez from Telemundo 51. We're going to let you uh, go back and continue monitoring what uh, what you could pick up. And, and Tamron, yeah. uh, you know, if the if the crew is still on on board, and and then obviously some concern about what may be left. But it does seem like they have at least now half a dozen guys that uh, in handcuffs that they're, they're putting on that um, sort of secure bus or yeah. paddy wagon, whatever you want to call we, it. We've seen a lot of uh, men in handcuffs, David. According to at least one report here, they are saying three men brought off in handcuffs, uh, but. From the vantage point we were looking at, it certainly appeared that there were more, but again, it is very difficult to see from this vantage point. Uh, the reporter who was just on with us uh, said that they believe the crew members are still on. I'm, I'm not sure if there is another um, threat uh, uh, that's keeping them on board. If, if they are, this is all playing out live, so we have no idea who is still on that aircraft, but certainly quite a few passengers as well as some individuals in handcuffs.